and what is going on guys and girls welcome to another video i'm ryan roots i'm ellie roots and, and together, together we are rally, rally roots. roots should be a fun day today we're gonna go thrifting um it's something that we do for a little bit of extra money and to show you guys what we can find at thrift stores to flip online so what are some things that we like to look for we like to look for items worth at least 30 dollars or more because we have a lot of overhead we need to get those items nice and cheap so True. that our profit margins are good enough to pay our employees and you know our mortgage for the warehouse we definitely want faster selling items mm -hmm. we don't want items that have a low sell-through rate True. and we want items that are not only faster selling but in a higher demand yeah absolutely and if we can find anything new at a lower profit margin that's okay because we're coming into the holiday season and everybody knows yep. present shopping online well this year especially i have a feeling it's gonna be a big deal because people have been doing it for the last couple of years but now who doesn't have amazon prime True. and who's not shopping on ebay because True. of corona so yeah stores aren't really getting stuff in people are going online so the types of categories that we're looking for shoes like ali said new stuff electronics uh, vintage t-shirts stuff like that and before we go thrifting today we're going to a little uh, private sale there's a lady who found what's hopefully a true vintage crazy nirvana nevermind shirt so uh it looks like it's real from the pictures that she sent us but we're gonna go there i'm gonna look at it i'm not 100 percent versed in the true vintage nirvana t-shirts i've only seen that t-shirt true vintage like one other time so i i'm not super comfortable with uh authenticating it but luckily we have a nice reach on instagram where there's a lot of yeah. really really good people following us so i'm just gonna take some pictures take some video post it to instagram and hopefully someone will be able to help us out right and i think you should explain to people real fast why you're worried about it not being authentic even though it is on a genuine vintage shirt yeah so it's on a giant tag uh, which is like this one i'm bringing this i wore this shirt so that i can kind of compare the tags but um just because it's on a giant tag doesn't mean that it's real now because what's happening is that um in china at the moment uh, there's a bunch of like sellers that are taking true vintage blanks to true vintage giant blanks and they're printing new graphics on those vintage blanks so they're actual vintage t-shirts with new right. prints on them sometimes it's really really difficult to tell the difference between a, a new print and an old print just because you know they're so good at doing it like they're using the ag exact same print and printing method so i found it pretty difficult we've come across some fakes um there's a lot of people selling these fakes on ebay a lot of them yeah. are being sold as reprints but a lot of people buying them don't realize that they're reprints they just think they're getting a good deal because it'll say it like at the bottom or in the description or something like that like hidden and, down yeah below. and then like who knows if that goes into the market even if it's a reprint if it goes into the market and then that person ends up donating it or giving it to somebody else and then someone else finds that and they don't know they're gonna it, think they could sell it as original yeah a yeah, hundred dollar sure it's an eight hundred dollar shirt exactly which is the issue here so it's a little bit weird right now with especially with band tees um these vintage band tees on these giant by tj's tags um but yeah so we're gonna go see if this shirt is genuine and we'll show you guys the tea and see what happens the other thing is we don't know how much he's going to be asking for it either <laughs> right so either way if it's real or not uh we'll let you guys know what the price is and if we end up picking it up but either way we're still going to go thrifting today and see what we can find yeah ready let's go boom Look how much they want for it. 11 dollars. 
Andrea by Sadik made in Japan. All right, so we ended up taking the t-shirt on consignment, which isn't something that we typically do. We don't like to do consignment. We like to just buy the item outright. Right. But in this case, we were so on the fence about it being authentic or not that we we're like, okay, we'll we'll get it checked out. We'll make sure that it's real, and then we'll sell it for the right amount of money. Right. And whatever it sells for, we're gonna split forty percent, sixty percent. Yeah, because there's such a large difference in price, like hundreds yeah. of dollars, yeah. like at least four hundred dollars from fake to real. Yeah, so it's worth it for them and worth it for us because there's no risk to either of us. You know? Right. I'm still I'm still like 95-ish percent sure that it is legit. There's just a couple little weird things. The tag is different than the tag that I've seen, usually to the Giant by TJ's. Um, there's no date stamp on it, but some of them don't have date stamps on them. And the print is just a little bit like, feels a bit too new. Um, but yeah. the shirt is, I don't know, it's a, it's a really tough one. Right, and we've had vintage shirts that felt new. Yeah, like, exactly. So... So we'll see. I sent it out to a few people on Instagram and we'll see what they say. So far, what's coming back is like legit. I don't know. Same issues that I think it has. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I put it out there and said, you know, accepting offers on it. And um, we'll obviously show everything to do with the shirt before we sell it. One hour later. So update on the Nirvana shirt. I have an offer on it right now for $600, which is great. So. And that's them knowing what they're getting, which is great. So um, I'll keep you posted if we sell it or not. I believe it's an overseas buyer, the $600 offer. So I just want to make sure everything is legit there. And we'll probably end up... We'll probably end up taking that. <laughs> Blue, 75% off, and every color besides red, 50% off. Besides red? <laughs> besides red. Well, both of the pairs of shoes I picked up are red, so. Well, I picked up this pair of shoes, so you didn't, you can't claim oh, that. Oh, you're right, you're right. You're I right. did that. My bad. Both the pairs of shoes that we picked up yeah. are red, so. I, guess I was chatting with somebody. Right the sister was blowing up at the resellers yeah so, no was she a reseller yes she just started she says our videos are very inspirational and her sister watches us too and sells in connecticut stay away from our thrift store <laughs> oh they look like they're in good condition but these are known to like crack here oh like so you really want to like test them out but these actually look pretty good look at that no, they look good to me, for sure. Is there half off of this bit in there? No. Are they? I don't think so. They look like they're in really good condition. And it's 50% off. Yeah, they'd be 10 bucks. I think these are fine. It's, if you like really squeeze them and they start to crack, then you wouldn't want to buy them. But. used, but what do you think about that? It's $50. Comps on it of 200 For you? Yeah. I don't know anything about this. It's a breast pump. Oh. <laughs> oh. We've done well in the past with all of our breast pumps. Yeah. I don't know how we would test it. We never tested them. <laughs> Parts in here? That's it? <laughs> There's a plug. Do you want to test it? Or at least plug in the breast pump and make sure it turns on, I guess? I don't know. Oh, you have to verify your latch. It has an app. Your Bluetooth. The power button is lighting up red. I don't okay. know. I mean, they both light up like they're charging, so... I That's think it's good. worth a shot. Okay. Alright. Let's try for it. That's cool. Coming to rest jacket. Oh, that's cool. This is actually really cool too. Like it's a vintage. Oh pizza my god. Hat satin jacket. Um <laughs> what? 
If it had a big Pizza Hut, like, hit on the back, I would want it, but... Uh, how much to embroider a giant Pizza Hut like <laughs> This is really cool. Old Reebok Windbreaker. $10, Reebok Sport. I just like the colors on that one. It's not really the season for it, but it's a pair of Vineyard Vines. I saw those. Yeah, let's see. $20. North Face Apex trench coat. It's a uh, fifty dollars. Ex extra large. Would your mom want it? It's really nice. How's it going? Hi. He sells at the uh, at the flea market. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, cool. Very cool. You like it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's uh, fake. I got you. I, I got kind of figured it has to be fake. Even though I, I looked at that, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Throw back Mitch and mm -hmm. uh, Mitchell and Ness. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh. Because usually these jerseys still have attached down here. They'll have like a size tag mm -hmm. attached. And then, oh, that's right. And then right that's, you're right. That's right. This, yeah, they do have an attached. Stitching's, stitching's a bit, a bit off too. But. Well, super nice to meet you. Yeah, it's yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll see you around for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Good luck with everything. Thank you guys. Yeah, of course. Alrighty. It's kind of some drip right there. <laughs> it's like actually hand painted. Oh yeah. Dated down here. <laughs> TP91. That's awesome. Is there a back? This person's my hero. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. That one almost got me. I thought that that was a kid's kind of the goose jacket first thing. <laughs> See? guys and girls so thrifting went well got a couple more good things I actually think we're gonna do pretty well with this breast pump <laughs> it's funny to say but we've, we've actually sold breast pumps in the past before and they've always sold for good money so I think this one will go for probably a couple hundred bucks and we only paid fifty dollars for it so that was a score and then some MBT shoes uh, like I said just make sure to flex them but these were only $10 after getting half off. And usually we get like 60 bucks or so for these. So I think that's a good buy as well. Yeah, honestly, good rule of thumb when purchasing new shoes, flex them. Like this. You just make sure it looks fine. Yeah. And then, ooh, that's right. We picked up this New York Giants. Uh, it's like a pullover. What size are you? Size large, 14 to 16. So like a kid's large, woman's large, kid's large? Um, kids is definitely 14, 16, but so it would be like a women's small, medium. Like a woman's small. Medium. And definitely I would say 80s on this one. Correct oh, yeah. me if I'm wrong, but I would say 80s on this one. Um, we got this for $11. Grabbed this for six dollars. Six bucks for the Hallmark shoe box. I just like the graphic on this one. You see what it said? It says, it says, really, I'm fine. And it's like a cow upside down cow. <laughs> Thought that was fun. Pretty cool far side graphic. Uh, this is the first time I found a far side graphic with a Disney tag. I don't know if that's weird or not. I didn't even know that far side was associated with Disney, but it has an 80s Disney tag on it. So this one was $6, dated 1987, I believe. It's yeah. not even yellowed from age. Really nice shirt. This is a size extra large. So that was six bucks as well. Like when I stand here, it's like the, the danger zone. I don't know how you haven't punched me in the face I'm yet. Good at that. It's this is yours for you. I bought it for me because I wanted to support Echo. We stopped in at a thrift store called Echo, and the money goes to feeding families. Yes. So I bought this. I paid them sixteen dollars for it, but 16. all that money goes to feeding families. It's a nonprofit. Yeah. And honestly, that's not bad. I mean, snack teas are starting to hit pretty hard right now and this is a legit 1981. People will think it's a reprint. Yes. They won't know, it's not. I think it's sweet. I think it's sweet. I wouldn't think it was a reprint. <laughs> well, you know vintage. True. And then this I just bought because the graphic was so cool and it was on my favorite tag. That Fruit of the Loom tag and the graphic is, I don't know, I like the colors. It's kind of like similar colors to your- Oh, it is. Bunny. We should wear these together. Yeah. 
So that's sweet. And then... What are we keeping? This is mine. Yeah, you keep that. Everything else I think Everything is Everything else is to sell? Okay. Yeah. Mine. And then your dress. I bought this dress, guys. Cool dress. It's amazing. It's so me. You said it looked like, um, what was it? The Wednesday Adams. Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. It is a pretty cool dress. How much was that? It was $18. Not bad. But again, that money went to feeding families, so I really don't feel like, I feel like I donated money and I won with a dress. <laughs> it's like karma. I get this cool dress for donating money. And then again, the last thing was the shirt that we picked up on consignment this morning. Uh, we ended up getting $650 for this. So after fees and after shipping, uh, $625 ish dollars. Yeah. And then we split that 40% to the person, 60% to us. And it sold very, very fast. Um, right. So what's nice about our Instagram reach is that person just happened to be on Instagram when we posted this. <clears throat> sure. So we got, I think that it's a lot of luck but it's a lot of who you know. And then also that person, we know it's going and they're gonna be happy with it to yep. like a good home, right? Yep. We know it's going to a good home because yep. they're a collector. Yep. So everything about it is like, we were really scared about this item, but that person is very confident in the item. So that's a win-win. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That's everything that we found today. Thank you for coming along for the thrift Yay. trip. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something new. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you didn't know that there were $650 Nirvanities out there. And hopefully we've inspired you. You know, a lot of people don't typically look at the electronic section and you saw we looked at the electronic section and we found that amazing breast pump. And you just know that in the electronic section, it has a UPC code, right? So it's a lot Scan easier it. to look up something that's in a box with the UPC code or something that has a model number to find like sold comps and always look at what's currently listed if there are only just a couple of sold comps, even if they're recent, because that might've been a couple of flukes, right. you know, like with the unicorn. Yeah, it sold for $40 that we saw, but oh. then there were like seven listed uh, and they hadn't sold. So right. it was just a fluke. Somebody happened to be looking for it. Other people saw, hey, it sold. A bunch of people listed it. No one else really wants it, you know? Mm. So just keep that in mind, like the sell through whole concept. True. And yeah. then the last thing guys is don't be afraid to pay up for the right item. Mm -hmm. So like that breast pump, $50, yeah. but we know we're probably gonna make you know, $100 net on that. So $50 to make $100 net is worth it. So don't right. be afraid to pay up. But. And even if you spend $50 to make $50, that's really good, right? Yeah, it's 100%. a lot less work than buying a bunch of smaller, less expensive things to get that profit. True. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching again. Please yes. hit the thumbs up button on this video. Subscribe. Ali and I are gonna continue to go back to what we like to do, which is go on these trips and do these thrifting adventures. Mm -hmm. This weekend we're going out meeting up with uh, Side Hustle Pros. Um, so we're gonna film probably some of that as well. So Side Hustle Network? Network, oh, you're right. They changed your name, my bad guys. Chaz <laughs> I know, I was looking for Side Hustle Pros as well and okay. I was like, I can't, I always, I'm just so stuck on the pros opposed Forgot to the network. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway guys, subscribe, see you next time. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Ali Roots and, and together, together we, we are... are... Ali Roots. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time. Peace. Nope. Nope, now you don't get anything.